All right, folks, we're here to do a product review of the foldable drasery fishing bait trap. Lovely little contraption we just uh, recently got, and uh, we played around with it a couple times and made a few modifications to, uh, to, to how we've used it the first couple times. We're gonna use it here at this creek. We got this nice little creek over here. It's full of great little minnows and other kind of small fish that we can use for bait. And Eric, uh, Eric is over here beside me. Eric, why don't you explain what we've done to this net and why? Okay, so the first thing that we did to modify this net, we blocked out five of the six holes in okay. this trap. And why do we do that? So, well, it will take longer for them to find their way in, but then they can't find their way out. So they will find their way in, and that's one thing we learned a couple times using this before. You put bait in there, they will find their way in. This is the way in, but they don't need six ways to find their way in. There, I'm sure there are reasons why that having six holes would be fine, but we found that tying off five of the six holes is uh, is best for uh, maximizing the, the number of fish that we catch. In, in a creek, of course. In a, in a creek, yes. What are, and so, what are the other two things we've learned using this the product? The second one, block, um, not block. Have the, the one open hole facing towards you because their intentions are to run away from you. W run so, away? Or swim away. <laughs> swim away, that's fine. So, so they're, they're gonna swim away when, uh, from you when? When you walk up the hole, their intentions are to swim away. Yeah, they're gonna see so us they, and they're gonna swim away. But if it's point, the one open entrance is pointed towards you, they won't find their way out because they're going to the other side. Yep, we, we, we learned that and uh, that, so it's really important that you put the one opening, or if you tie off five of the six holes, put the one opening where you're gonna walk up to the net so that the fish get scared the opposite direction. And then what's the last modification we made to this? We added an extra extension rope. And why did we do that? So we could sneak up on the fish and pull this thing out of water quicker. Yep. So in this case, we have this creek. Let's take it over to the creek. We have a creek over here, right? And we're going to put the net in the middle of the creek or you know somewhere down there. But the line that came with the net is not long enough. So we attach this typical line that you would use to uh, attach to a bait bucket or to keep fish alive in the water by pushing it through their uh, gills. We are going to attach that to the net, set it into the ground here, leave it, come back, and see what we got. First thing we got to do, Eric, is is put some bait in. Yes. All right, let's let's bait this, this up. This we'll use chicken nuggets. Okay. Here's the chicken nugget. Tyson brand. All right, so put that chicken nugget in there and let's get going. All right, so there is a little tiny net inside the big net. So Eric is putting a chicken nugget in there. You can really use any food. The fish, the fish are gonna eat pretty much anything you put in there. Especially at this creek. So we also learned that you have to figure out if your bait is going to float or sink. If it floats, in the case of the chicken nugget, it floats, the bait is gonna float out of the bag in the middle, which is probably not a big deal because the fish are going to be inside the, 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 the bigger uh, container anyway but it is kind of nice to keep it in there. It probably makes the bait last longer and not let the fish get to it. So in this case, what we learn we have to do is we have to put it in upside down so it floats to what is the bottom of the net. So when it's upside down, it floats up and doesn't get, doesn't, uh, it's not allowed to escape. Not a big deal either way, but that's just something we learned. So let's go ahead and uh, toss it in there. All right, give it a shot. Uh, and if it doesn't stay in the net, that's not a big deal. Okay, and... There we go. All right, and it stayed in just fine. So we got the we got the net in there. It doesn't have to go in the middle of the creek. The fish are going to find it. That's one thing we've learned about pretty much any bait. The fish will find it, and uh, they will go in the net. So the one thing that Eric has got to do is orient the hole, the one hole that's open, orient it towards us or towards me so that when we go to grab it, which we're going to do in about 20 minutes, when we grab it, the fish that are in the net, and there will be a lot of fish in the net, those fish are gonna scare, be scared away from the opening 
towards the back of the net where there's no escape. As mentioned. So I'm sticking this in the ground. So I got it in the ground and we're gonna leave it for about 10 minutes, come back and there's gonna be, I'm sure quite a few fish in there. So let's, uh, let's take a pause for 10, 15 minutes. We'll come back and see what we got. All right, we're back. It's about 20 minutes later. I think it's time to uh, check the bait. Get check the, fish. Yeah, check the net and see what we got. So uh, you ready to move out? Yep, All right. Let's catch some fish. All right, let's go. Eric is going to uh, squat down, get as low as he can, and uh, try not to be seen by the fish. And I need to squat down as well. Of course, it's a lot harder for me because I'm a little bigger, a little older. But, uh, yep, yeah, there's a line up there, so... He's, so there's going to be fish in the net right now and as soon as they see him they're gonna to start to run away from him into the back of the net and they'll have about two seconds to find the one exit that they can take to get out so I think it's time to pull it up pull it up see what we got no. oh no go jump jump <laughs> oh my gosh get it out get it out on the beach on the beach well that was a little uh <laughs> That was a little unexpected. We didn't exactly tie the knot, I guess, very well, but we caught a lot of fish. Here, let me have it. Was... <laughs> Eric was not planning to get wet, but he got wet all right. Oh my goodness. And look at all these fish we got. This is, uh, this, this is a bunch of bluegill. <laughs> Eric, come on back and see what you got. I count one, I can't really count. There's too many. About a dozen fish in there. There's about a dozen fish in there. <laughs> All right, you wanna you wanna dump the fish out and see what we got? Let's do it down on the beach here. Let's take it down to the beach so that we can get them into the water pretty easy. All right, let's go. All right, let's dump them out right here. Okay. Eric, just dump it. We don't need. Yep. Fish slide. Eric, don't bury him. You're. <laughs> <laughs> okay, you're gonna you're gonna pick him up. <laughs> oh, good grief! <laughs> Technical difficulties. <laughs> All right. Well, while he's uh, while he's picking up these fish, <laughs> I'm gonna just mention that uh, yeah. So the uh, the net turned out pretty good. Had some pretty good success. It was uh, very simple, very easy to use. We caught about 12 bluegill with just uh, you know just a tiny bit of bait, and hopefully Eric gets these fish in before they drown or suffocate. <laughs> so, so if we've learned anything in this video, it's don't dump the fish <laughs> that far from the water. All right, you got four more that are uh, suffocating up here. Help me! I'm not helping you. You're you're the one that goofed. Oh my gosh. This is how a nine-year-old releases a dozen fish. So this, this, just to be clear, this is not a comedy channel. This is serious business. I mean, he's making a, a mockery out of fishing, but that's okay. You know, we like to have fun while we're doing things like this. So anytime now, Eric, anytime. Fish are, uh, take your time. The fish are not suffocating too too fast. There <laughs> There's one more. Oh, two more. Where? <laughs> There's one right behind you and he's dying. He's literally suffocating. Okay, get the other one. <laughs> if he doesn't already make it out on Okay, so that was the end of our uh, clown school video. <laughs> okay, Eric, any uh, parting thoughts? I think you got all the fish, so we're good. All right, any parting thoughts, Eric, on this new Drazdy, Drazry, foldable fishnet turned out pretty good, I'd say. Pretty good? Yep. All right. See you later, guys. Bye.